Now click part two of the session on the, the scene we just installed in the other uh, short YouTube videos on the features. So I'm just give you a little bit on the highlights on how this scene looks and feels. So I really like it. So again, we are just on a fresh installed uh, community edition 658. The only thing I did was install a custom scene. So you'll see the login screen already changed and then the main screen also changed significantly. First of all, what you will figure is uh, the menu bar on the top. So the other thing that has changed only on the top, there was the global links. They moved to the bottom. So you see the global links down here. The other thing, the user basically comes into play here. Um, notifications are no longer shown at the top here. It's a little icon that shows you the number of notifications. If you click on it, basically the show. Server response time shows synchrony here. Uh, copyright notices there. If you click on it, basically displays it in larger. Nice feature also from the bottom toolbar. You can fold it away so you have uh, more space available. Um, system also memorizes that, so it keeps it. If you scroll over, it's still there. If you want to make it stick out, just make it stick and then it stays there. So, nice little animation that basically allows you to either get the information, get the global links, or have the space. The other nice thing is um, group menus are in there. So there's a couple of buttons. The first one is the home button. Uh, this is a special menu. We'll focus on that later and multiple desktops. The second thing is grouping of modules you can do. Mm -hmm. There's a drop down if you change, for example, the activities. Gives you the activities, what it says, whatever you have in there. So it allows you the typical group tabs all. Gives you all. If there's more, basically, you see the various additions in there. Uh, Sales. The other thing on the menu is uh, those menus, if you go over, basically gives you on the one hand the shortcuts versus the normal menu. The second thing, it gives you the last views, also on contacts. You see the only thing I showed was a contact and an account, and that was it. It's also nice in the last view, uh, if you go on the entry, uh, you not only can go to the detail view, but there's also a nice little pencil that takes you right to the edit view. So if you want to edit that account, just click on edit and you're taken right to the edit view. So that makes it a little bit nicer. The other thing um, you see on the left hand side, so in the last view, I ruled on the module, so you only use the last view contacts. So unfortunately, it's left of course empty. It also has a centralized last view here where you always see the latest 10 ones, regardless of what it is, again, uh, where you made it from. I think also, if you click into one of these records, it's a little different, so this is like an account, the normal view, if you take contacts, you have the tabs, little tabs, look a little bit nicer, so you can see that. Other nice features are, if uh, you look at the areas, up here there are two more features, the one is a favorite, so you can flag a record as a favorite, if you select that. In the context view, you always see your favorites. So this is per person. And the other nice thing you can do is also for these things, uh, we set a reminder. So we have several accounts to request from customers. So it is very tedious to set a task. So very easy to say, okay, you want to be reminded of that contact, uh, let's say on the 5th of December. You can just set it here. You see it pops up here. It stays right there. Gives you always the reminder to that this is here. Even if you go back to the next to the other company, you always have the reminder. So it's a contact that's right here. You can also change that if you put another one in and say, okay, that account I want to be reminded on Friday. Pops up here as well. So remove it, or make it delete, and moving it up here. So quite nice and easy. The other thing you have seen was home screens. So um, the home screen is a little bit more cleaned up, it's more tidy organized, the same if you move over the buttons show for deleting it if you have a location where you're basically setting the settings, they still move around, it's the same, there's no change. What has changed is the button you have uh, noticed early up here moved into the menu, so if you want to add a dashlet, it comes out of the menu now, the dialog is the same. And the next thing 
that's nice. Um, you can not only add a dashlet, you can also add a page. So if you do that, basically a new page opens, which you can give a name and say, okay, this is for example my support page. And you can also set the columns. So I don't want two, I want one column. Click OK. Saves it. Also takes you directly to the support page. You can add a dashlet here. And say, okay, I want to have, for example, my open cases. And you see, okay, it's only one column wide. You can still change these things and say, okay, not only my items, so I think you should see something. It's definitely within the metadata. And then you also set this from 5 to 10. So you have this, text, uh, this uh, home page. You can change between those pages here. So then between main page and support page. And you can also change from right here. So if, for example, I navigate to a case from here, I might be this favorite if I want. Let's say for reminder, I just make this a little bit fun. Another one pops up here. You can go back to the home page. Then it takes you to the last page you had. It's always only for the session. So if you log out, you know, and back on the main page. The other thing you can do is right from the menu, also go here, for example, to the main page. So Let's say, draw a line that, okay, right up there, and in here, um, I want to draw a main page, mm. and I have my desktop. What you see is, that's a nice feature, it's a nice advice. If you are not on the home screen, then of course the menu items are gone, you can't add it here, but you can still go back to the main page. If you are on there, basically the menu items show up here again. So that's more or less it. The other thing that changed a little bit is in a couple of cases, for example, admin, you know, wonderful. Add up here is gone. Didn't add much value, for example, there. It show up in the same way. So lots of the things, you know, but basically just a little bit funnier and nicer to look and feel. If you click on a menu, you get the list view, and then, of course, you have to go to the respective areas of the menus that takes you to the view whatever. Okay, so much for it. I think nice, clean, it's little look and feel that will definitely make the usage of uh, sugar serum a little bit nicer and more appreciated by users. Also inspired mm -hmm. if uh, some of our few users, for example, Gmail or others, uh, Google Apps, uh, will recognize there are certain similarities. Okay, thanks for listening.